inside the state house tonight. The controversial voter ID bill is on its way to Governor Nikki Haley's desk. Tonight, senators agreed on a compromise version of that bill that will require voters to present a state or military-issued ID at the polls. Republicans, including Governor Nikki Haley, have been key supporters of voter ID, but Democrats are not happy about it. States uh, State Senate Democratic leader John Lane III issued this statement tonight saying, quote, South Carolina took a major step backwards today. We have a long and sometimes troubled history in this state with efforts to make access to the ballot box open to all citizens. But today, the Republican-controlled Senate adopted major changes to our voting law and have thrown up roadblocks to the polls. Well, we've received a lot of comments from you all about this story tonight. Missy Stevens says on Facebook, I don't have a problem with showing my license or ID. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. And Alan Willis says, having to show a picture ID may cut voter fraud, but where was the proof that voter fraud existed? And Derek Gage says, why would minorities, the elderly, or disabled be any less likely to have a state-issued ID than anyone else? This law would keep people who have moved out of state and still have their voter registration card from voting, as well as people who are in this country illegally. Well, your air conditioning...